Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today I am working on a walk-in refrigerator and I'm going to show you how to test a thermostat with a multimeter. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today I'm working on a walk-in refrigerator and I'm going to be replacing this thermostat. But before I do so, I'm going to show you how to check one with a multimeter. I do have the power off at the moment as I just performed some preventive maintenance for this blower here. I figured this would be a good time to take off the cover as we do have live connections in here. There's one screw you can find here. So we're just going to take a Phillips screwdriver or a flathead, unscrew it and pull off the cover. All right, got the cover off. And if we look closely, we have two wires here. So we have two connections. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways to check the thermostat. The first way is gonna be with power off and using continuity. Sending my meter to continuity. Shorted out the leads, we heard the noise, our meter's good. Always like to do that first. Right now, I have the thermostat set to 100. So right now, we shouldn't have any continuity between there. Right, we just have resistance, but no sound. All right, let's drop the temperature till we hear a click. All right, so I heard a click right there at about 50 degrees. That's about where the box is right now. So from here, we should have continuity across the two, all right? You see it did that. I'm gonna higher the setting, nothing, all right? The point here is to make sure it kicks in at the actual temperature that it is. Make sure with a digital thermometer that it is around 50 degrees and see if it opens and closes at its set point. And right now I'm going to show you the second way, which is going to be with voltage. As you can hear, the fans are running and the power is on. Volts AC. So right now I have it set to 100, so it shouldn't be sending power through. So let's see what reading we have here. Between the two, we have 124 volts. So when it's not calling, you should have voltage. So now we're gonna drop the thermostat and we're gonna want it to the circuit to close. I just heard it engage. So now between the two, we have zero volts. Zero volts means that voltage is passing through and this acts as a switch and it is closed. So it's sending power to complete the circuit. So right now in this situation, this thermostat is good. The reason that I am changing this thermostat is because it doesn't satisfy at the right temperature. So it is getting whacked out as far as the settings. It is five degrees off. So if I set it to 40 degrees to shut off, it's actually getting way colder than that. So that is a problem. If it's either too warm or too cold and it's off by a certain amount of degrees, you know, that's when it's time to change it. You want accuracy. But that's pretty much it. While this system is calling, if it's sending power through, you're gonna have zero volts. Zero volts. Let's, let's act as if we satisfied the box. We just satisfied it and we have 120 volts. So now we're open. And that's pretty much it. Quick recap. So when we're not calling, we should have no continuity here. And when we do call for cooling, this should close and we should have continuity between the two. That is with the power off. Now with the power on, it is very similar. If we are not calling, we're gonna have 120 volts here. It means the circuit is open. If we now set the temperature for it to close, now we want power to send through, this is gonna close. And when you check between the two, while it closes, you're gonna have zero volts. If it's open, it's 120 volts. So hope that helps you with your troubleshooting. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.